Hey everybody, welcome to the follow-up video of soya versus hydroponic peppers and can you taste the difference? So after the first video, I've had so many great feedback and people suggest that I do things different uh, and uh, try it again. So in this video, I'm actually going to take some of the suggestion and try something different. Uh, the last time what we did was try pots that were much greener and younger and uh, a few people said that uh, the heat and the combination of the things I did wasn't a fair uh, comparison so uh, there's a few suggested that I do the sweeter one so the same varieties if you allow it to turn red they actually will become sweeter and the heat is much less so this time what we're gonna do is instead of trying the green one we're gonna try the red one and see if there are the sweetness or the uh, spiciness or, or any of the um, variations in the peppers are different. So let's go ahead and pick a few fruits and then we'll take it back. I'll show you. I'll cut it open also and then let you see what's inside and then we'll give it a try. Alright, let's pick a few red pods and try it out. This one is going to be the hydroponic peppers. So we'll cut one off. This seems to be a good candidate here. And with this variety, when they turn into a red color, m mostly it's going to be sweeter. Uh, the heat is not much there anymore. So uh, people suggest that we should test out the sweeter pots and see. So this is it. So let me label this hydro. And then let's go to the soil one and pick another one. Okay, here's my soil plant. There are a few that have turned color, so let's pick one that are similar to the one we just collected. And here we go. This is the soil one. So now we have two peppers, one is hydro and one is soil, very uh, similar in age, uh, a little bit different in size, the hydro is a little bit larger, so let's go and try this out. Okay, here are the two fruits that I picked, that's the soil one and that is the hydro one. Uh, the size is a little bit different, the hydroponics um, pepper is slightly larger. As I mentioned, I will cut this open and let you see what's inside. These are very similar in age because um, I picked a few of these to save for this particular purpose. And as these varieties ripen up a little bit, they become softer. So that's why they are always best when eaten uh, when they're white. So here is the hydro one. We'll go ahead and cut this open so I can show you what's inside and we'll do some comparison this is the hydro one so here's what it looks like well it smells pretty good and this variety is, is very unique because it changed into four different colors uh, green is the beginning and then it will turn white, then it will get a, a blush of purple, then it will turn to an orange color and then finally this red color. So very beautiful variety, very unique. Smells a little fruity. Um, it doesn't smell hot like those super hot. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can really tell how hot a pepper is by just smelling it. Alright, so this is the soil one. So let's cut this open. So here it is, and they both look exactly the same. I mean, I didn't notice the difference in 
the amount of liquid that comes out of this. So let me smell the soil one. <laughs> I can't tell it smells exactly the same. Okay, so let's try it out. All right guys, so you saw what it looked like inside. They look very similar. They smell exactly the same. They're almost the same size. And so before I try this, again, I want to put out the disclaimer. I'm not biased towards any of these methods. You can choose to grow whichever method you like. Uh, I prefer multiple methods because uh, in the summer I love gardening outside. In the winter time I love doing it indoor and hydroponic will allow me to do that. And it's a great method for me because uh, I really enjoy doing it. So here we are. This is the hydro and this is the soil. So uh, the last time we did the hydro first, this time we'll do the soil first. Um, I guess I'll just eat the whole thing. Wow, it's still spicy. Yeah, it's still spicy. Not as spicy as when the, um, it was green, but um, a very unique taste. Uh, as soon as you bite into the pepper, there's a sourness to it. Very different than um, uh, most Thai varieties, although they look very similar. Um, sourness, uh, lots of juice. There's a lot of season here. So, uh, I, I really don't like the seed, but this one doesn't taste much like anything. So the seed is not that much of a deal. Wow, the, it's getting really hot right now. It's a pretty big pepper, so um, juice flowing everywhere. It's pretty spicy right here. Very good pepper. But uh, I prefer when it's green because it has much more of a nicer aroma. Um, much juicier, crunchier. The crunch is what I'm, uh, I'm hooked on with this variety. And you get that when the pods are green. I mean white. Whew. Wow, I thought the heat was going to be less, but actually it's still there. Not as much as when it's um, fresher or the white color. Okay, so I'll just wait until the heat subside before I try this. That way I can get a better judge on it and compare it better. Whew. Yeah, the video might go longer because of that, but I might just cut out and allow my throat to rest and then uh, when everything is all cleared out we're gonna dry the hydro one Whew. it's kind of subsiding now but um, I want everything all fresh again before I try that so be right back alright guys I'm back it's been probably over 15 minutes I wanted to clear everything out and make sure that I have no more taste in here before I try the hydro so that last pod was uh, pretty hot so <laughs> I'm hoping this was not is, and I'm hoping this is not as hot so uh, um, I really don't want to eat this whole thing but to be fair we're gonna have to do it so I can get a good reading and tell you the difference Pretty bland compared to the the soil one. The soil one has <clears throat> a really nice kick of the um, the sour taste, sort of like a fruit sourness. This one doesn't seem to have that. The heat is not as 
pronounced. I don't feel much heat yet. A lot of seeds, so I'm still chewing. Wow, that's really surprising. The flavor in the soil is much better than this one. Yeah. That's really strange. Because uh, for the wider uh, pods and that are younger, I prefer the hydroponic one. And for this red pod, I, <coughs> I actually like the, um, the soil more. It has a much more uh, pleasant flavor with the sourness, a little bit of a citrus uh, tone, um, and much hotter. Hmm. Yeah, this one has a uh, the 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 taste is very level. It's um it's almost bland to me. Like I mean, there's really not too much taste to it, and uh, not too much heat either. There there is some heat, but um, most of it is gone. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Um, for younger peppers, uh, I prefer the hydroponic method or taste. And for the red ones, I prefer the the soil one. So uh, the only varieties that I have grown uh, with both method and at the same time is this particular white Thai variety. So I can't tell if the other peppers were, will be the same. But uh, maybe I'll try that in the future. Anyway, um, again, I'm not an expert, so <laughs> I'm just giving you my opinion. That's all for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.